just finished our El Chepe trip. We ended in El Fuerte, took a bus to Los Mochis, hopped a flight to Guadalajara, and rode on one of the most luxurious buses from Guadalajara to the coastal city of Puerto Vallarta. We've been here about a week, uh, settling in and teaching classes online. So we'll be here about a month, which is very exciting. We'll be teaching online with VIP Kid. If you do want more information about that, we'll drop the link in the description below. Um, so you can check that out. And if you have any questions, of course, just shoot us an email. But we're here to talk about food. And while you can find amazing food all over Puerto Vallarta, doing some research, a lot of it leads back to Zona Romantica. So what better place to lead a food tour than here in La Zona Romantica? We are gonna try to stick to food stalls, the type of place that you can either roll around on wheels or have a food truck type of vibe to it. So we are really excited to be checking those off our list. So we are gonna go ahead and finish this up and show you guys around the area because there are tons of things to do here, especially with the beach right in front of us. Um, and then we will head on to our first food stop. All right, hope you're not hungry. <laughs> Guys, we have arrived at our first stop, which is Marisma Fish Tacos. What better way to start a food tour than with fish tacos? I personally love fish tacos and the fact that we're here in Puerto Vallarta, right on the coast, I can always eat fish tacos here. So we are going to go ahead and look at the menu, have an order, and then it's super cute the way this place is set up. You order here at the main stall, but then they have a whole seating area right behind them. You have a couple chairs, little tables, set yourself up, enjoy your meal. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, guys. So it's really awesome that they have both Spanish and English. So, no, no worries here. Lo más popular que manejamos aquí son los tacos de camarón o de pescado. Me das un taco de camarón capiado, uno de pescado capiado. Gracias. Oh my goodness. So they have a really cool setup here. You order at their food stall and then you can come over here and sit down at one of their many tables that they have on their little patio. Or I'm sure you can just take it to go or get Uber Eats. We saw uh, we saw Uber Eats driver come and pick something up, so that's an option too. So of course they have their salsas. You have your guacamole salsa. This one looks like it's their spicy sauce and then a for the aisle. So we asked for their recommendations and they recommended the first the fish tacos, of course, the shrimp tacos, and the tostada de Marlin stew. I don't think I've had Marlin ever, so I'm really excited. Let's get to it. So they did also recommend their agua fresca, which is jamaica and guayaba, so it's pretty good. So they're fried, so we don't know exactly which one is fish, which one is shrimp yet, but we'll tell Figure you when we bite into it. <laughs> that. Okay, a little bit. Batter to perfection. You try it. Mm, nice and crispy. Oh my god, it's so good. So next we're gonna try the tostada. Yeah, okay. that's all right. I'll figure it out. I think we're 
we're both in agreement that the Marlin stew is our favorite. I would definitely get it in a tostada like we did, quesadilla or taco, I think either way it'll be good. So we're done here at Marisma, now on to the next one. The way we kind of mapped it out is I did a little bit of research about the most popular dishes to the region. For example, uh, take tacos de cabeza. So I just looked up best cabeza tacos in this area here and whether it be on Google or TripAdvisor, uh, I'd like to stick to the one little one dollar sign so <laughs> you can use that filter if yeah. you'd like. Yes, totally. You always get really good food for cheap eats. Mm -hmm. um, so we went ahead and based it off of ratings and the one dollar sign and we ended up pinning a couple places on the map and they seem to be in this general area. So we're gonna go ahead and head in that direction and we'll show you the church while we're at it. We are definitely getting close to our next stop, which is Tacos de Cabeza. So unfortunately, we could not find the specific <laughs> stall we were looking for. Um, where it says it is, it looked like it was closed. Um, but we did ask a couple other stalls if they did have um, Tacos de Cabeza and they said that they ran out. So if you do want to get Tacos de Cabeza, probably get here a little bit earlier. Uh, like when they open because uh, <laughs> the guy said that they run out pretty fast. Yeah. Uh, but we were walking along the streets and we ran into this place which seems pretty poppin' and they have carnitas. Alright, so um, I got the mixtos which seems like it has all parts of the pig in it. So let's go ahead and pop it up. So we basically went ahead and loaded it with everything that they had there. Um, what this place is called, we are unsure. But you could just do your own little food tour around this church. There are tons of little stalls on almost every corner here. So we will pin the exact locations of all the places we visit. So you can either follow our tour or just kind of build off of ours. I think it's a safe bet though to come right by the church and there's tons of little food stalls everywhere. I love that they double up the tortillas on all of these. Just gonna scoop that up. Damn. Got a little spice in there. Mmm. These are bomb. Mmm. Rice carnitas. Mmm. Yeah. So I did taste a little bit of the meat, like, on its own and it's flavorful, but it's not like super juicy. But when you put everything on it and you just bite into the taco, very, very savory. Pico de gallo and everything thrown on top of it just makes it perfect. Street food stalls are the way to go. If you didn't know that already. Ay, disculpe, ¿lo puedes decir otra vez? Taquería de la Santa Cruz. Taquería de la Santa Cruz. Gracias. That was only 32 pesos. So cheap, guys. So definitely cheap eats for sure, but good eats. There's the church. <laughs> There's the stand. <laughs> so literally around the iglesia. Because we can't just eat we can't. all... Okay, I guess we could. <laughs> but we shouldn't. So we're going to try to break it up a little bit. So now we're going to give you a little bonus and check out... Uh, craft brewery that I've been wanting to check out. So, let's head over. Let's go. That's pretty neat. Super cool. Yeah, so every time that someone buys a pint there, they donate a dollar to a charity of your choice. You can donate to a local animal shelter here or a center that helps disabled children. So guys, come drink a beer here at this brewery. <laughs> Alright guys, so next up we're gonna go look for some birria. We'll give you more info about it when we find it. <laughs> Be here. Looks 
like Mr. Robles is in here. But I have a backup, so let's go find that one. Well, that is unfortunate. Apparently, all the BDF places are closed today on Sunday. Tacos de Biblia. We made the mistake, so you don't have to. On to the next one. So guys, we definitely had to change our plans, but we actually came back to the same area we were earlier. The church is right down the street. So we found a stall that has a combination of everything. Tacos, quesadillas, tortas, burritos, you name it, they got it. I mean, they rarely do. <laughs> you just show up to a random place and you get great surprised. Service, yeah. Great food, nice surprise. Now, to our next spot. <laughs> it's not over, guys. I think we may have found some birria. One hour. Dos. Dos. Freshly pressed corn tortillas, guys. This specific birria is birria de res. So it's like a stew. It, they stew it slow cooked and they put it in a soft taco. And that's our taco de birria. So it is very similar to the carnitas we had earlier, but that extra um, stew that they put on it, really, really good flavor. All right, guys, we just finished at Tacos El Moreno. Good stuff. And we noticed that the sun was setting, so we like grabbed our stuff, went to go get a beer at the Oxo, and now we're making our way to the beach to go try to catch an amazing sunset. So the sky is slightly cloudy, which usually leads to amazing, colorful sunsets. So we're very excited to catch one right on the beach. As far as food, don't worry, it's still not over. It's not over yet. here that we've seen have been nice. <laughs> That's true. So now we're gonna make it to our final stop of the day and we won't tell you what it is until we get there. All right guys we made it to our almost last stop. We are here at Tacos de Cabeza in Chulo. So we finally found some Tacos de Cabeza. 
pongo de las dos salsitas. Ahí lo voy a echar una. Nada más, este. Gracias, gracias. ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es? Cacheta, cacheta y lengua. Ah, ok. Y esta no pica. Alright, guys, so we have cheek and tongue. So this is like the most tender part of the cow that you're gonna eat. Um, so it's supposed to be very soft, succulent, uh, tender meat. And yeah, we're gonna load it up with the good stuff and then try it. It's actually really fatty meat, so you do get a lot of chewiness, but it's so good. And I'm, I'm not just saying that, because I'm like, you think cheek and you're, mm, this is good. And I'm going to try the lengua, which is the tongue. I had no idea the tongue would taste this good. <laughs> That one wins? Mm -hmm. El cachate. Definitely. Mm -hmm. mm. That's my favorite taco of the day right there. Of the day? Yeah. Oh, That's crap. Good. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and finish this up. Again, we are going to pin every single place that we tried in the map guide that we're going to post along with this video. Okay, guys? And so we're going to finish this up. Um, and then we'll take you to our last and final place. Bonus. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> guys, we have arrived at our final stop for the night. Very, very excited. And we're ending it with a dessert. Um, probably my favorite dessert in all of Mexico. Actually, my probably my favorite dessert ever in the entirety of desserts. So, we are having ourselves some churros. Um, they call this guy the churro guy. <laughs> and the way you find him is he's located right outside the church. So we're gonna go ahead and order ourselves an order each so we can have our own dessert. And we'll tell you how they are. Look at them. And guys, the thing here is you do need to get here early enough because once he runs out, that's it. Um, and we came earlier and he was not he had not started yet. He told us in about an hour, so he went and enjoyed the sunset, and then we're back. And he's frying some up now, but he said it'll take about 10 minutes. And then we get to enjoy our find him as long as you are outside of the church and follow the line of people. <laughs> so we are done with our food tour and eating our way through Puerto Vallarta for today. We're gonna do plenty more eating while we're here in Puerto Vallarta, but oh, for yeah. today we're gonna say goodnight. So you know the drill. If you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe to our channel. And hit the bell so you get notified every time we post. And of course guys, again, share this video with anyone you know that would either be visiting Puerto Vallarta soon or just interested in what it's like to travel through Mexico. So again, thank you guys so much for subscribing. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye.